It was good, y'all. I'm going to say Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Ma'asham Yahweh Shai. Ma'asham Rakak Wadash. Shalom. Dumb honor to the apostles. A great millstone. Shalom to all the Akim put in work. We out here once again. Columbus, Ohio. The city of devils. The city of bastards. Y'all got anything you want to go into today? I got some. You got your pocket right here? Yeah. Let's get that, uh, I think it's five and one. Uh, uh, it's good for something. I think it's five. Let's move this on a little quick. Huh? Right, man, that boat. Hey, yeah, don't yeah, they yeah. don't they gotta give you don't they give you a warning before they shut your channel down? I mean they give you or strikes. block you from it or whatever. They give you strikes. I got two strikes. I ain't got none. Oh, yeah. Now from Tuesday to Saturday night, I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't even comment on my shit. I know by Saturday night I was able to push, uh, leave a comment on the brother's channel, man. Yeah, I think I'm a. I ain't never got no warnings. For real? Sometimes I do hit you with a three-day ban. But back in the day, they just straight delete your channel. But I don't think it was because of my video. I think it's because of my comments. I believe in other people's shit. You know? They could be flagging your comments as hate speech. Probably. But I think that has to be what it is. But that too, but you got these devils, man. They watching us. You got... People don't think we being watched. We being watched. They looking at everything we're doing on the internet. They following us. You know, if you're on YouTube, they looking at you. If you're on Facebook, they're reading your messenger. You know, if you got a Yahoo email, they're reading your emails, all that. Right. Just think about it. Hey, check, I was feeling lost, too, man. I was feeling like I was lost, too, man. I couldn't do shit. I was feeling like I was really lost, man. Like, damn, man. I was feeling guilty. What you talking like, about? what the fuck did I do? Why can't I get on my channel? Uh, you know what I'm saying? All kind of shit going through my that's mind, That's how they did, did me for two weeks. Man, what the fuck? I was shut out my YouTube for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, you feeling salty, man. You go to... You be forgetting you watching that video. You be like, God damn it! I'm a. You get mad. You start to leave that comment. Then you realize that you're blocked. <laughs> you left a lengthy comment too. And you feel like you on pun. You come back off punishment. You're supposed to feel like oh, I gotta watch what I say now. For real. <laughs> and really, fuck all that, man. Cause we gonna just keep saying the same thing, really. Right, right. Y'all seen that video with James White comparing comparing us to like the KKK and shit. The yeah, that's, that did all the lynchings. That's and, crazy. Yeah. That tells you your boy, he is straight up racist. That's fucking dumb. How you gonna compare, like, the KKK, the reason nobody likes them is why? Did they fucking lynch people and hang people? I mean, that's what they've known for. That's their fucking M.O. It's gonna be worse. Did you ever sit here any Israelites killing a single person? No. Besides that one Moses guy he always claimed. What's his? Yeah. Nobody's ever killed or hurt nobody. So there's no way you can compare the KKK to Israelites. That's just dumb. He said you're worse than the KKK? That's crazy. So that means Bocab, he's co-signing with him too. So that's, they both feel like that. Because really, that just tells you his hatred for so-called black people, for Israelites. That's just his natural hatred he got. <laughs> James, why is it eat him like? What you got? So Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him. Oh, yeah, we're going to stand in great boldness. And that's a good point. We, that's how the spirit works. And we're going to have James White to eat him like the racist and all these other devils. Uh-oh, there go my girl. Oh, we got to stay focused. But, yeah, because we're going to stand bold in the face of those afflicted. The, who the afflicted us was the, the, the nation of Edom, the Edomites, who, was, who, the, we, call the, who we know is the so-called white man. Go ahead, because everybody, every nation in the Bible got an identity. We know that like the so-called black people are Israelites. We know that. We've been teaching that. But we know that the so that the, the so-called white man that runs the earth, those are Edomites. And we gotta make this plain because people don't understand, you know? Oh, that's not her. I thought that was that one girl. That cra that crazy broad I worked in the uh, store with. You don't remember her that came up one day? Come on, oh I was out there, right? It says and made no account of his labor. Ooh. Ooh. Talking about that Demobite. <laughs> you see that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what people don't understand. You know the difference between an Israelite and a heathen. That was a heathen for your ass right there. 
When they, says, uh, when they see it, they shall be terrible, so like they shall be troubled with terrible fear. They shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Oh, we're gonna, they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. Because the way we're going to get saved is going to be strange, especially to these people. We're going to get beamed up by them UFOs and chariots. They're going to come out of the clouds. They're going to be bringing up but death and destruction. They're going to destroy two-thirds of Israel. Where that sign at? Oh. They're going to destroy... The Lord and the angels are going to come back. They're going to destroy two-thirds of Israel. But they're going to beam up but one-third. And the one-third going to be saved. Is it? Is something like that? it says, So far beyond all that they look for, and they repented and groaned in anguish, for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he, when we had sometimes a derision and a poverty among, of a poverty of reproach. We fools to count his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the lot of the saints? Can we keep going? I think that was the one. I'm not even sure that's the one. What's the one scripture? What's that one scripture that says in the Bible? Like wisdom of Solomon 5 or 6. Children of Israel. Oh, yeah, because that whole two chapter go hard. Can you repeat that one part you're talking about? Yeah, go ahead. Go do what y'all want to do. All right, it's uh, Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 1. Better is it to have no children to have, and to have virtue, for the memorial thereof is immortal, because it is known with God and with men. When it is present, men take example at it, and when it's gone, they desire it, and wear it for a crown. I should skip down. All right, that's good, though. But that's, that's a good point, though, because... Hey, what the work we're doing this is a virtuous thing. You're supposed to be a virtuous man. You don't even never hear that word virtuous. How many people you ever heard speak of virtue? Never. Never. <laughs> yeah, you know, they don't even know that word. It's, yeah, it's just very, very seldom. There you go, yeah. see? Confirmation. It's a desire. So that's, real, that's real talk, though, because who, who, who you ever see people walk around judging people like, oh, this he's a... This, not a very virtuous man. He's, you know, people don't even judge you like that in this world. They don't judge you by how honorable you are or virtuous you are. They judge you by how much money you got. Yeah, yes, yeah. By how nice you are, look, how good. Yeah, what title you got, what position of authority you got. They don't judge you by according to your uh, your acts and your fruits. They don't judge you by your house. You know, like, like he's coming to you say that like, you're the son of. What's his face? Whatever you know, that's, that was like because the oh husband, yeah, the yeah, scripture says the honor of the father. I believe is like children or something like that. I can't remember that's, exactly. And that's why last names used to be so important. Yeah. Because you have that name, like in the scriptures, you know, you would take the last name of your father. So David, you know, uh, or he be the, they call him the son of Jesse, and Solomon was called the son of David, and so on and so forth. So you like you know who who you were by your father and your name, like you said. Plus, I tell you too, in the, uh, I can get that. Let me get that real quick. That's a good precept. To go into something like that. Yeah, also, they'd be like, it's like you know, watching old movies or movies that took place in old movies, they'd be like, you know, you bring dishonor upon a family or whatever. So, so, you know, certain things like that. I didn't show you that. Why do you think that uh, that TV show, Game of Thrones, they got all the different houses? And they pretty much got that from the Bible, how they got the different tribes of Israel. And then you, even in the different tribes, you got tribes within tribes. You got different houses within the major house, you know? Because Israel's so numerous, each tribe of Israel is like a whole nation. And then within each nation, you got sub-nations and sub-tribes. That's how big Israel is. Let me get this real quick. Because you got some Israelites that were called different type of ites. Like, uh, what's a good example? Like Shulamites or, I don't know. There's Elijah. a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's all different types of ice. I, we could get some examples if we really had to. But I want to read this real quick. Uh, Numbers 2 and 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Every man of the children of Israel shall pitch by his own standard with the ensign of their father's house, far off about the tabernacle, the tabernacle, I can't say that word, the tabernacle, and in the congregation they shall pitch. On the east side toward the rising of the sun, 
shall they the standard of the camp of Judah shall pitch throughout their armies, and Nashon, the son of Amenadabab, shall be a captain of the house of Judah. But it goes on and goes on about how each tribe is supposed to have their own standard, like the brother was saying. Because you, you could know a lot about a person just by what house they're from, right? That used to be something that, you know, we used to rep, we used to rep our, our tribe, and we used to rep our in, ensigns and the banner. Where do you think they got all that uh, going into war with banners? You got your house crest and emblems on the banner. You know, that goes back to the Bible for the children of Israel. Oh, yeah. You kind of going off the, on some other stuff. I said, and triumph forever, having gotten the victory, he's striving for undefiled rewards. Ooh, that again. Continue one more day. Says, when it's present, men take a temple at it, and when it's gone, they desire it, and wear if, and wear if a crown, and triumph forever, having gotten the victory, he's striving for undefiled rewards. That's what we're doing. Yeah, he's striving for an undefiled reward. Oh, that's a good point, though, yeah, because you got people fighting in America to get this defiled reward. Like that, she got a fat, juicy looking booty right there, but hey, you know that reward, if you get that reward, she might have a little something extra for you. She probably got herpes, gonorrhea. That's a part of that that reward of this world. Because you got these people, like these rappers and stuff, they always, they want to be the top rapper and everything. You know, they out there making their little rap videos, talking shit. Then they get shot one day like Tupac at the age of 25, and you out of there. You know, everyone, everybody was jealous of Tupac one day. They was jealous he was living that high life. But look at him now. He didn't make it too far. You got more to that? He said, But the, multitude, the multiplying broad of the ungodly shall not thrive, nor take deep rooting from bastard lips and slips. Don't lay any fast foundation. That was disgusting. That's crazy. Fuck it. Oh man. He was like, a, I don't know what you call that. That was a fucking yeah, that was a freak. I'm sorry, you just wanted that. It says, for though they flourish in branches for a time, yes, they're not fast. They shall be shaken with the wind, and through the force of wind, they shall be rooted out. Imperfect branches shall be uh, broken off, their fruit unprofitable, not right to eat, yea, be for nothing. For children, I think it was at the beginning of the chapter. It was all good though, because it was all fire. It might have been four, four five, six, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I it. How you put it again? I could, I could do a search on it. Let me keep reading to you here. It says, it says, uh, I'm going to read again, verse 5, wisdom Psalm 4, verse 5, it says, The imperfect branches shall be broken off, their fruit unprofitable, not right to eat, yea, meat for nothing. For yeah, children. so you got a lot of withered branches like that, that they got no fruit. Just like the Lord said in what, John 15? He said he's going to take the withered branches and burn them in a the fire. The withered branch, you know, that's like an unprofitable service. Somebody out there not doing the work. We're out here teaching bullshit. Like IUIC teaching bullshit. Okay, like uh, vocab Malone teaching what bullshit. What's your boy James White the racist teaching bullshit. Faithful the faggots teaching nonsense and bullshit. What did that scripture say about that? It says the imperfect branches shall be broken off. Their fruit unprofitable, not ripe to eat. Yeah. Game. So what kind of fruit does like your boy vocab Malone get? What kind of fruit does he got? The Shield Squad. Oh, that shit got broken up. What, have, what about James White? What kind of fruit he got? That's the most strange. He got some GMO fruit with worms in it. Is there more to that? It says me for nothing for me for no Oh, that's me for nothing. Like, yeah, all, the, all these people that come against us, they me for nothing. You know, like like uh, the elders always say, like the guys like Vocab Malone and Faithful the Faggots and all them. They, they get all their views from talking about us. If it wasn't for the Israelites, they wouldn't have no views. They wouldn't have no channel. They wouldn't have no doctrine and no teaching if it wasn't for us. You know what I mean? Uh, read that again that last point. It says, they're fruit unprofitable, not right to eat, yea, meat for nothing. Yeah, have you seen any disciple of Vocab alone? What kind of fruits does he got? <laughs> Show me some of his disciples. Some of the people in his camp. Where he teaching that? You know what I mean? He got no fruit. 
All you got is an ass whooping coming his way. And I was talking, did you see that one video when uh, Bo Cabin got beat up? <laughs> he, went, he went disturbing someone's camp. And his one brother came up to him and was like, man, I don't like the energy you bringing out here. He's like, everybody's cool, but your energy makes me feel like I need to hurt you. And he's, you know, I thought a dude was about to beat his ass. So, you know, Vocab got an ass whooping coming. You don't go around talking, you see, that's, hey, give me proper, let me get it. Hold that, let me get this. You don't go around running your mouth like that. Oh, James White. James White, the, the, the master theologian. Go ahead. This is June 1 and 4 There are certain men crept in and where before the war ordained to this congregation, ungodly men. Ungodly men. Turning the grace of the Most High into malicious things and denying only power in our Lord the Hawa Shah. And what's that? I can't even say that word. Licious, liciousness. That's talking about dealing with like money, right? Doing it for your own own uh, well-being. So good. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's selling that book. He got that book deal. He got. Trying to sell that book. Yeah. book. Now nah, we gonna get that book and get an autograph by vocab. So he's just doing this thing for money. And denying our Lord, our Lord power, and our Lord Yahweh Shai. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, let me say, the people out of the land of Egypt has to destroy them that believe not. Oh yeah, so the dim that didn't believe is getting destroyed. That's all there is to it. And the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. <coughs> Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, <coughs> giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, and set forth for an example of suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Um, hey, that's a, hey, your boy Vocab did do that. Speak evil of dignity. I'm just gonna keep reading, man. But hey, uh, what's up? Are you saying that Hitler was a Jew? No, he was a uh, well, he was a Edomite. Yeah. Uh, he was a Jew. He was Jewish. Oh, uh, not a Jew. We Jews. Oh uh, yeah. He was Jewish. <laughs> Well, actually, he was an Edomite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edomite. He was an Edomite. Yeah. We're Israelites. He was an Edomite. Uh, Just like those devils over in Israel now. They, they, they call themselves Israelis. Uh, that's not true. They're just imitating us. They're just imitating us. I heard that's why Hitler did the Holocaust. Well, the Holocaust never happened. Yeah. It never happened. All that is is stolen history. They're trying to they have an agenda be behind that great lie. You know what I'm saying? They have uh. an agenda. And that agenda was to get, get in that land, get in that land, so they can claim to be us. Because they know the benefits of being Israelite, you know? Yeah, because they, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the promise, what? Looking at right, the most I don't lie, right? He promised us the kingdom of heaven. Us. Yeah. Hey, just, right. for us. Right. just for us. Right. Just for us. Right. Just for us. Right. Well, they, they know gonna, that. Well, yeah, yeah, but, you know, it's all coming to an end. Man. Yeah. It's all coming to an end. Yeah. Hey, just for edification, I'm going to get that precept. Revelation 2 and 9. I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Right. You said the blasphemy, huh? Yeah. The blasphemy. You hear that bullshit that the motherfuckers are saying? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You know? So the Lord said he know the blasphemy of them to say they're Jews, but they're not Jews. But they're actually the synagogue of Satan. Yeah, so hey, they own the banks. Now, honey, they own this whole downtown, them so-called Jews. They own this whole country. <laughs> the fake well, Jews. Europeans, the Edomites. Oh, yeah, okay. they're right. Syrapians. Right, that was actually, you know. Uh, they they, come, they come from Mount Seir. Right. You ever hear of Mount Seir? That's a hometown of Edom. Hey, check it out, brothers. Those same rats that claim to be the children of the Lord, the same ones that's pushing this homosexual, transgender freak agenda. You know what I mean? They're yep. pushing it. They're, they're encouraging it. Yeah. Know? And they're the anti-gun people. Too. That's right. They're all oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you yeah. see that lady, the school shooting, all the people involved were all Jews. All the students all protesting. Most of them all so-called Jews. You see that fact? Freaking. Yeah. What's his name? 
He getting roasted right now. I forget his name. Yeah. Uh, he getting roasted. You can tell he a Jew. Yeah, yeah. They, they all are. They already yeah. yeah. I forget his name. He getting roasted with yeah, the memes. Like yeah. You see the memes? He's done. <laughs> That's some funny shit. They're having a hard time convincing uh, everybody they need to get rid of the guns, ain't they? They, they just gonna have to take them by force one day. That's coming. That's definitely coming. Man. That's what I thought. I can't fucking wait for it. Okay, y'all wanna get back to this one? Yeah, actually, go ahead. What'd you read? It's back to June. Um, yeah, I had a good one. Yeah. I left my spot. Um, okay, I'm gonna start back. I'm gonna start at 9. Yet Michael and Archangel went continue with the devil. He disputed about the body of Moses. Let's not bring against him a really accusation. Said the Lord. Thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally are as brute beasts, brute and beast. those things they corrupt themselves. This is going You're right. To, uh, Dumber, dumber than an ox, dumber than a box of rocks. Because right. uh, Israel is dumb, though. You know what I mean? Because Israel really is retarded. They don't. They, they, what's the old saying? They don't. They can't tell the difference from shit and apple butter. You know? Right. They're just dumb. Yeah, natural brute beats. It's brutish. But and brutish I, and Hebrew means stupid, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> stupid. It means stupid. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, Israel had no interest in knowledge and wisdom. Yeah, I'm, you know what I mean? They just, it's hopeless, man. They just hopeless. Uh oh, what's that? What chapter was that? Oh, I can't never remember. I always got a scripture like, like I know what, what book it's in or post. I can't never remember. What was that? Cause that going into that how stupid yeah, yeah, how it says that stupid right here. But these speak evil of people to the things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts. Oh those yeah. Things they oh uh, that's the thing too, but we just coming off of Easter. Now Easter was yesterday. And right, our people are still celebrating goddamn Easter. So you gotta be a fucking, like I said, you gotta be retarded to celebrate Easter. Here it is, it's 2018. YouTube done been around for what? Damn, 10 years more? I mean, the videos, I mean, the truth has been spreading like crazy. Y'all still celebrating Easter. You know what I mean? I gotta understand it was 20 years ago. We, we, was, we didn't have access to information 20 years ago. But nowadays, you know, this this information is out there. Y'all are still stuck on stupid, man. That's crazy. They still celebrate Easter. They still celebrate goddamn Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, Easter got nothing to do with the Bible. Like Ishtar gets his name. Oh, uh, Ishtar. Easter come from the uh, Ishtar, the Babylonian sex demon, the the Babylonian war goddess. You know what I mean? They still celebrate that shit. They don't want to listen to it. And they still eating goddamn honey baked ham on Easter. Yesterday I seen it. Goddamn honey baked ham. Like clockwork. You know what I mean? It's fucking crazy. It's like it ain't Easter without that honey baked ham. It's like they making sure that they they that they blasphemy and profane the most high as much as they can. Yeah. And they got in it, they ignorant. They don't even know why they do it. Verse 11, woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily at the era of the law for the poor and perish in the gang scene of course. Yeah, because actually Israel is like, in a, they got the spirit of Cain on them, because they, they got that mentality of I am not my brother's keeper, you know, every man for himself. I got to get mine, so I'm going to take yours, you know, that, that's the mentality. No conscience either. Nah, I got no conscience, no bro. Conscience, that, bro. That, that's, man, they straight kick your door down. Like Biggie Small said, he kick it in the four with the four four. Hey, Jake, that's how Jake does it. Robbers and killers. What was the spirit of Cain? Oh, because yeah, because Cain was the real gangster. Right. Jake really, ain't, Jake ain't really no real gangster. The real gangster was uh, Esau and Cain. That's the real gangster. Well, they're, they're, they're offering to the Lord is profane as fuck. Yep. You know? Just like Cain. Just yeah, because like Cain. Cain's offering was profane. You know? Easter. Fucking Easter. Hey, that's an Easter. Cain's that Easter spirit. Y'all see how people was dressed and shit, man? 
going to church and shit. Yeah, they put on that Sunday's best. But y'all motherfuckers don't know goddamn thing about the Bible. The Bible says you don't wear all that fancy shit. But y'all wear all that fancy. You put on your Sunday's best. That's why all these people in these churches, bro, they go in there and wearing all that jewelry. They just all need to be slapped. You just go in there and just, just, just go there. You just line them up and slap them. You know what I mean? See, y'all deserve to get your ass beat for that. Yeah, here it is. The scriptures clearly say, let the woman be not adorned with the costly arrays. But when you go to church, that's all you see. Preacher got a Rolex on. Like, goddamn. They bought all the new hats and shit. Everybody had a different hat on. Man. I was bugging out. Like, y'all is not even, they're not even trying or attempting to follow the Bible. Not even attempting it. So fuck y'all, man. He so told him to be that way, man. That shit is awful. Esau told him. And Esau don't even fucking go to church no more. He said, we can have that shit. 